If you were to paint a picture of a basketball player, that's the picture that I would paint is of Monica Wright. Monty was born in San Antonio. We traveled to Germany with my husband. He was in the military. We left San Antonio where she was born when she was a year old. And then when we got back to the States, it, she was four. So we spent her second, third, and fourth year in Germany. The first sport that Monica started with was soccer. And, uh, you know, from day one, she's always showed uh, athleticism, speed, and, uh, you know, she, she's always been blessed with that. So, you know, from day one, we could see that, you know, she was going to be something special. Probably around the end of middle school, like eighth grade, one and ninth grade, I just focused strictly on basketball, knowing that I wanted to get a scholarship and I needed to probably commit more, most of my time to basketball. So I just let soccer go, let track go, and just strictly focus on basketball. You know, speaking as her dad, but also as uh, her former coach in AAU basketball, Monica uh, is that type of kid that She's a totally team-oriented person. Uh, she not only she wants to do well, but she wants the other kids to do well also. We won two state championships, one my sophomore year and one my senior year. And my junior year, we lost in the championship game to Princess Anne. And it was a heartbreaker, but like I said, it was an instance where it just gives you more fuel to come back the next year and win it. In front of the skip pass by Saida Williams and nearly steals it in front of Zoll, but taken by Charnay. Now in the corner, Williams fires the three around and off. Wright comes sweeping in for the rebound, and Monica Wright puts it off the glass good. That's the first Cavalier field goal for the high school All-American. I had absolutely no concern about how she would come into the program, even though she was extremely highly heralded. I felt like Monica had the right mix of personality she came in here extremely humble. She came in here and has never uh, flinched at the leadership that was given to her. She's only been, she's been a, a great person under the leadership of our team and never had a moment's problem and was, a, was, one, was a, one of the best friends of all the teammates the day she walked in. So that was exactly what I expected. She's very explosive. Um, she's like our catalyst. Like in the beginning of the game, she always scores just about like our first like 10 out of our 12 points, and that gets us going. That helps us a lot. And that, and us players feed off of that, and that helps us bring up our game and make us want to score, make us want to be explosive on the court. She's fearless. You know, and then when you're a freshman and you play relentless and fearless like that, she's got it, you know. She's got it. She's got the skill. She's got the, you know, the relentlessness. Um, she plays hungry. And the more basketball experience she gets at this level, and you're going to see all of her talents come out. I think she is a player that is definitely going to attract a lot of attention and a lot of fans because, not, again, because of the type of person she is and because of her great basketball skill. She's a very talented basketball player. She's going to get better and better and better as she goes through the program and she plays in the ACC. And people are just attracted to her personality because she's just so giving and she just, she just wants to be a part of things. She has absolutely... Um, no ego whatsoever. She's not concerned with how many points she gets or how many rebounds she gets. She's more concerned with doing what's right for the team to win. I just feel like basketball is something that is a blessing and I can never just become a cocky person because knowing that God has given me this opportunity and you know has blessed me with the God-given talent and athleticism, I can never just feel like it was all me. I could always, I have to always give credit to him because it's him that's given it to me, so I can never be cocky. 